Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm here today with Christian Sandstrom, who is a chiropractor uh, who specializes in sports medicine. Today we are uh, kind of breaking apart the different throws of Ultimate and talking about uh, the biomechanical chain reaction from the ground up and uh, how the body uh, kind of works together in that. So uh, right now let's uh, talk about the forehand. Yeah, exactly. And um, for those who watched the video about, uh, about the backhand, it's basically almost the same thing, but in, in, on the other side. So if we just uh, show you uh, the basics in, in, in sidearm, uh, you have like in, in backhand, you have a backswing and uh, you have like a follow through. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you just stand as you were, you know, exactly, uh, throwing a sidearm, right? Uh, and if you really want to throw a sidearm a long way, you probably will, you know, probably will uh, stand like this towards that side, if, if you, just so you can load and unload your hips. Okay. Correctly, right? So you're saying standing more, uh, if, yeah. I, if I'm throwing at the camera, exactly. you want to stand more uh, like more, this. With yeah, more per perpendicular to the uh, ro direction of rotation that you want to. Okay. Okay. And, and that's why, because um, um, you, you can stand like this and have all your weights on this leg as well and load, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a little bit more tricky. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's easier saying it's easier to get that rotation and that wind up if your uh, other foot is backwards, as you can you can transfer your weight backwards and uh, exactly and you can roll it in, into rotation. the direction okay. that you are throwing yeah. into. Yeah. You see, you can rotate more in the direction. Okay, you, like you just said, we can rotate more in the direction that we're throwing. Whereas if our foot is up here, our hip has already been rotated. Uh, we don't, so we don't get as much of that wind up and release. No, exactly. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So. The first thing is uh, that I always um, question myself is can you load the backswing leg? Mm -hmm. That's the main question. And so if you have in the backswing, in, in a sidearm, if you have the, all your load on the, on the back leg, can you really load in internal rotation mm -hmm. there? Exactly. And to, to, to have it in a drill, you can actually put a lot of weight on your inside of your foot here to accelerate that internal rotation in the hip. And you can almost you know, feel how, how the tension is increasing mm -hmm. when you have the load on the inside of your foot during the backswing and sidearm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's very, very important. And you know, as, as we talked about in backhand, it's how, how well can you load in all three planes in flexion, a deduction, and uh, you know side bending uh, in the backswing from internal rotation to external rotation, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and also uh, you can obviously rotate your trunk a little bit more as well mm -hmm. uh, and explode it from that. And as you can see in the follow through when you are externally rotated in this hip, this hip here is actually internally rotated and is loading and decelerating the follow-through mm -hmm. which means that you have to train your ability to load and unload the sidearm and the back end on both legs right. because they are both active in, uh, uh, in the backswing and in the follow-through as well. 